Hi, welcome to a session on how to make a SharePoint site look great. So there's a few things to think about before we get started. One of those is make sure you've got some really good images to use in your project. So these need to be proper photo stock images, professionally taken images of a high quality. Otherwise your site isn't going to look very good. So once you've got that and also maybe thought about your color scheme as well, then we can get started. Now, if you're struggling to find some good images and you just want some photo stock images, then there are some photo stock images built into SharePoint, which I'll show you shortly, but you can also get them by going to the lookbook site. So if you search for SharePoint lookbook, you can go in here, you can get inspiration with lots of ideas, but also one useful thing would be to actually install one of these sites and take some images that you can use on your own. Now, when it comes to images of staff, then obviously that needs to be your own organization. So you're not going to be able to use those images, but it will it's a good start and it will give you some nice uh, generic images to get started with. So you can always look at these examples and install them. This is a great place to start anyway. It'll give you some really good design ideas of how to make the pages look great. Um, but obviously these sites that get created, there's no real content on them. They're just empty sites. So um, you still have to be creative yourself and create your own site and put your own content on those sites. So have a think about the images before you get started. Gather those resources, make sure they're really high quality and good ones to use and have a think about that color scheme that's going to be used on your internet page. So to get started, I'm going to create a brand new site. So I'm going to go to create site. Go choose a communication site because that's a site that we want to look attractive. We're publishing information to large groups of people in the organization. So it's a communication site template we use. Um, there are a number of different starting points you can use. Um, I think we might just use uh, the topic one, the default one. We'll take a look at what that looks like. So that's created a brand new site. As you can see, the, the, there is the hero web part at the top with their own default images in. And then there's just some empty news items, events, and documents on here. So we want to make this look attractive and nice for our users. First thing I'm going to do is I'm just going to go to change the look and I'm just going to make the header minimize because it's quite big and make that compact. And just a bit of tidying up here, I'm just going to go and remove those extra links that are on that page because we don't need them on that home page. We want to keep it nice and simple and as clean as possible. Um, it's a pity we can't turn off that banner. That is um, required by Microsoft. Um, but what we can do is we can edit this content to make the content look attractive. So I can press the edit button here. And to get started, I'm just going to start fresh. So I'm just going to delete these sections um, from this template. So just starting from a blank page. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to create a new section. So press, press the plus button here to create a brand new section. There's a number of different layouts I can choose from. And most of these are centered. The content is centered in the middle of the page. It's not full width. And um, this, this section here, however, is full section. So I'm going to use that as the option at the top of the page. I want some nice high impact content. And I'm going to choose the hero web parts to begin with. So this is a great web part to start with. Um, and if I click on the edit button, you can see there's a number of different options in this web part and they all look attractive um, full screen. So one of them is to have layers where I've got a number of different layers um, an attractive image on the left hand side, or I can use tiles. And I do prefer to use a layers one. Um, at the current time, there is some an extra padding issue that causes um, problems with the with the layer option. So I'm going to stay away from that for the time being so we can make it look impactful. Just going to use three tiles. Um, and then remember the important thing is to pick high quality good images on the on this site. Otherwise it won't look great and um, whatever you do. So I'm going to click select image and um, I'm actually just going to use the home page as a link on all these because we haven't got any real content on here yet. But you can always come back in here and edit these at a later date to attach that real content. And then go press the little pencil tool on the tile itself. And this is where we can add some text. So I'm going to um, call this one redefining 
the industry. And I'm going to choose a background image. Um, so I'm going to choose a custom image. And I could use the photo stock images that come with SharePoint. There's a great selection here. Um, you know, I could use the, the business buildings in here. Um, and there's a number of different categories. I can search them. There isn't a huge number of images here, but they are all really high quality. Now I've downloaded a few from the lookbook that I can use, but you know, in reality, you need your own high quality photo stock images uh, of your company. So I'm just going to use some Contoso ones to get started. So go choose um, these buildings. And I can even change the text, the link at the bottom. So um, I'm going to expand out options. Instead of saying learn more, I'm going to say continue reading. Then I'm going to add in some other links. So again, I'm just going to choose a home page. We'll add some real content later. Um, and again, I'm going to choose custom image. And this time I'm going to pick an image of the team. So again, the Contoso team. And again, I can change the text here. So I'm going to say award winning marketing. And I'm going to add that call to action. I'm going to say how we do it. Bit of an introduction to a company, maybe for new starters, people that aren't familiar with what we do. It's communicating that to the rest of the organization. And I'm going to add another link. Again, add the real content to later dates. Um, change the custom image. And I'm just going to, again, choose another um, pitch to put in here. Okay, so I've finished my first section. You know, I just use out of the box web part and I've just used uh, some really high quality images and um, just to have that high impact at the beginning now when it gets a bit more tricky is when you start adding extra sections beyond this point so when I create a brand new section next I'm just going to use some center content and um, otherwise we just end up with a page full of massive images so I'm going to choose uh, the one third left column and what I'm going to do here is it adds in some default text web parts. Just get delete those again, start from scratch. But to actually make this look attractive, I'm going to add in some spacing. So I'm going to add in a spacer. You can drag this up and down. I can use the up and down arrow key if I want to, to get this to the right size. And I can always alter this later. Go duplicate this web part as well. So I'm going to add in some spacing on, on this side. So I'm just going to duplicate it and then drag one of them over to the other side. I'm going to duplicate it here as well. I'm just going to wedge my content in between these two spaces. So on this side, I'm going to add um, our very own Word of the Day web parts. Um, and on the other side, um, I'm going to add in some quick links. So this is just using out of the box quick, quick links web part. Again, we're just going to try and keep it um, with the theme colors for a lot of this. So instead of adding in icons here, multicolor icons and logos. I'm just going to try and stick to really simple um, two-tone colors. So I'm going to add another link here. Again, I'm going to create some real content at a later date to link this to. And a really nice option here is the icon option where you can choose just a, a black transparent icon to have on the page. So I'm going to choose the, um, I'm going to make a onboarding icon. So I'm going to choose this, uh, change this to onboarding. Add another link, maybe to another important piece of information I want to highlight towards the top of the page. Maybe it's um, policies. And again, change the icon. There's a load of uh, interesting ones to use here. I'm just going to use this, uh, this book icon for that. Add another link, add some more useful content. This will be the last one I do. I'll call this uh, engineering calendar. Again, I'm going to choose custom icon. See if there's a calendar. There we go. Um, and I'm going to change the title of this as well. Call it important links. 
So we've communicated some important information um, at the top of here. So I want to center this. So again, let's center it with the web part on the other page. So I'm just going to make it a bit bigger. Um, and to give it give give the page some definition as we scroll down it, I'm just going to click Edit Section and choose a slight um, a, a lighter theme color for this section. Um, I'm probably also best actually choosing it on the section above because there's a little bit of padding that Microsoft seems to have missed out under that web part which is a bit annoying because then you get a white strip across it which we don't want um, and that should do that so um, again in edit mode it's sometimes difficult to see what it looks like if it's too spaced out you know so what you can do is you can just publish it see what it looks like yeah there's a bit of a gap there maybe a bit too much so go and edit the page again I'll just make this a bit bit smaller Again, I just need to center the content on this side. Republish it. Just check that it looks okay. Yep, that looks okay. Maybe maybe we could do the few pixels uh, shorter on the other side. Um, and then as we move down, I'm going to make a bit more of a bold section after this one. So I'm going to create a new section on here. And this time I'm going to use the one third right column. So we're just going to change the balance of the page, make it a bit more equal. Again, edit the section here, go make it a strong, strong green color. Um, again, I'm just going to delete those uh, default text web parts. And I'm going to insert the image web part here. So again, another key is re really high quality images that we're going to use on this page. I'm going to put a message from our CEO on this home page. So again, I'm just borrowing some pictures from uh, the Contoso um, lookbook images photo stock images now this image is just a bit too big you know it's uh it's going to take up a lot of uh real estate on the page i just want a little note on the right hand side so that's too much space for me so what i can do is i can just use a picture editing tools i can use a crop tool just so i can change the ratio of it so you change the ratio of it make it a bit smaller and then i'm just going to press the save button to save that image and on the right hand side I am going to use a text web part actually I'm going to put um, a welcome from the CEO okay so we've wrote some text here from the CEO I'm going to make it bold I'm just going to move it um, put a bit of a space in there as well and I'm going to add in a, a button on here just to go maybe to the full news story to the full uh, the full page with uh, the welcome from the CEO maybe goes a bit of a review of the year here as well. Um, so I'm just going to say read more. And this will be a link to a page. I'm just going to put in a link to the home page because that page doesn't exist yet. I'm going to leave the left alignment in there because that looks quite good. Um, and then again, what we want to do on this page is we want to add in uh, the section is we want to add in some spaces. So add in some space between this content. Again, I'm sort of guessing here, you could probably um, pick some actual sizes and uh, stick with them across the site. And again, on this side, I want this to be sort of centered next to that image. So I'm just gonna make it a bit bigger. There, and that looks good. And we, we need to remember the padding at the bottom of this as well. So I'm gonna add another spacer. Make that a bit smaller at the other side. Okay, um, so again, we can publish that page, republish it, see what that looks like. If there's too much padding, if it looks okay, that looks good. Um, and then the next section I'm going to add here, um, I think we're going to contrast it maybe with a lighter color. So I'm going to integrate some of the news items. This is a really good way of having new content on the page um, all the time, either news from around the organization or controlled news published by um, you know the marketing department and then we're going to add the news web parts so um, there's no news on this site currently so I'm just going to grab uh, the news from another site um, that we prepared earlier so I'm going to choose cloud industries let's brought in some news items and what we can also do is pick the layout of these so I've got it side by side I'm going to not show the author because uh, and the published date as well because it just looks a bit cleaner 
uh, when we do that. So I want to keep it nice and clean, not information overload. We don't really need to know that much information until you click into them. And I'm going to add in another spacer at the bottom and um, just to pad that out. So again, if I have a quick look at this now, it should, it should be side by side. Um, and I might just add a slight tint to this. Let's add that lighter colored tint to that background so it's not completely white. Then the next section I'm going to have as completely white. So um, I'm going to add a meet the team option here. Maybe make this as a, as a heading. And then under it, um, I'm going to have three profiles of uh, people at the organization. So I'm going to use the plus button. I'm going to choose the three columns option. Let's just hide this panel so we can see them side by side. And I'm just going to get rid of these text bits here. But I'm going to add in the image web part. And again, I'm going to upload some high quality images that I've cheated with. Um, of some fake people in my organization. So I get add an image. And one really nice feature of these images, you can make it look uh, like a really nice feature. If I then edit that image and I add in the hover over text, I can even link this somewhere. So it could link to a biography if I wanted to. And then I could put in the text here. So add that in there. And again, that looks quite a nice uh, image. And you need to make sure your images are the same height. We can use a crop tool to crop them to make sure they're the same height as well. I'm going to choose another image here. I'm going to do exactly the same thing. So add the text over the top. And add another one. So now I've done that, I'm just going to publish the page. We can have a look at it. So we've got a nice introduction at the top, we've then got our word of the day and images. We've got a message from the CEO, we've got some news on here. Maybe the padding's a bit too big here. I should just adjust that. Um, and then we've got meet the team section again. I'm afraid I need some padding at the top of this. Um, and again, we've created quite a nice looking site um, really quickly. Um, but again, really important thing is that spacing, the images, um, and just making sure that you've got some, you know, engaging content on that site. Now, functional content, content that updates all the time, might not look as styled, it might look at, not look as neat, but it is going to be more functional and usable. Whereas some of this content, you know, like a message from the CEO, that's going to be very static most of the time. So it has less of a actual use in the organization. So it's about getting that balance right between some interactive content like the news, which will update on a regular basis and keep people informed of what's happening around the organization, but also some content that maybe looks nice, um, what, that maybe people that join the organization, they can take a look at that and go through some sort of onboarding process um, and maybe control some of that content and tell people about what each department does and who does what. Um, and that's really where I think the, uh, the power of SharePoint comes in is communicating that information in that mini website. And again, just trying to make it look attractive using those images and spacing as you add those onto the page. Now, there are lots of other web parts available, but if you use the same design principles, then it will also look good 